Most people know how important it is to give a person having an allergic reaction and troubles breathing an EpiPen shot as quickly as possible. It is just as important to know what to do when a diabetic becomes hypoglycemic and passes out or starts to seize. Using an EpiPen is simple and easy. Using a glucagon kit is just as simple and easy and just as life-saving. Hypoglycemia is a serious condition. It occurs when a type 1 diabetic doesn't eat, takes too much insulin, exercises too much, or is in a high-stress environment such as test taking. There are many causes to hypoglycemia. If you know someone who is a type 1 diabetic and they start to act very tired, drunk, sweaty, and shaky and confused, check their sugars with a glucometer. If they are 70 and below, treat with fast-acting sugars followed by long-acting sugars. If you do not have access to a glucometer, treat anyway. When in doubt, act. If the person is unconscious, seizing, or unable to swallow, call 911 and administer glucagon. Most type 1 diabetics keep their supplies close at hand. I keep mine in this orange case, which makes it easier to carry and find when needed. The glucagon kit is at the bottom. When you open the glucagon kit, oops, you will find a folded piece of paper giving detailed instructions on what to do. There will also be a piece of paper plastered to the inside lid giving pictured instructions of what to do. There will be a vial with a powdered disc inside and a syringe full of liquid. To use, pull off the gray cap to expose the needle. Insert the needle into the vial. Push the plunger so that all of the liquid goes into the vial. Some people say to take the needle back out and mix. Some say to leave the needle in. I'm going to leave the needle in and gently move my hand to mix while holding it together. When the powder is completely dissolved and the liquid is clear with the consistency of water, pull the plunger. This draws the liquid back into the syringe. Don't worry about bubbles. Pull all of the liquid back into the syringe and quickly put the needle into the skin. This can go through clothing such as jeans or a shirt, but is easiest when injected into the skin. An EpiPen needs to be given in the thigh or muscle. Glucagon can be given in the muscle area of the thigh bottom, or back of the arm. For children weighing less than 44 pounds, it is suggested to give half a syringe of glucagon and discard the unused portion immediately. But remember, giving a full dose to a child will not harm them. You cannot overdose on glucagon. When the student, family member, or friend regains consciousness, they may throw up. So put them on their slide to avoid choking. Glucagon is not glucose or sugar. So you must give them fast acting sugar followed by long acting sugar as soon as they are able to swallow.